Hello, my friends and members out there. I love you, I love you, I love you. And today we want to study uh, the First Corinthians, the 15th chapter, and the 9th and 10th verses. God bless you. May he bless you forever. We've been talking about grace. What is grace? What is grace? Well, I got to repeat this in every series of messages. Grace is an unmerited, unearned gift that God gives to you. The next definition is, is, is something that God gives to you on his behalf. You see, I didn't get saved on my own. I wasn't thinking about being saved, but God saved me in the dispensation of time. Now, in this passage of Scripture, uh, Paul is trying to get the Corinthians to see that Jesus Christ was born of a virgin and he suffered under Pontius Pilate. He was dead, but the third day he arose from the dead. Now, uh, a lot of people was wa wondered, how did Paul, being a Pharisee, how did Paul, being a, well, he was not rich, but he could have been rich because you know how Pharisees got that money and uh, he was a learned man. Paul was no doubt something above a PhD. And if he had been living today, a lot of these PhDs would have been carrying his briefcase if he should have had one. But when he explained to them, Paul left it all for Jesus Christ. He left a life of Pharisee. He left the life of uh, riches for coming. He left a, a life of marriage uh, for celibacy. Matter of fact, Paul was probably once married, but then he, his wife perhaps died and Paul did not marry again. We know that he was married because he was a, mar uh, a member of the Great Sanhedrin Council. And being a member of the Great Sanhedrin Council, marriage was necessary. But Paul said, for I am least of the apostles. That's humility. Not worthy to be called uh, an apostle because he had killed Christians because I persecuted the church of God. But by the grace of God, I am what I am. And his grace toward me was not in vain. On the contrary, I worked harder than any of them. Yet not I, but the grace of God that was with me. What in the world is Paul saying? Paul said, the life in this verse, I used to live. I don't live anymore. Satan that used to be in this vessel, he's not there anymore. My attitude has changed. Although I was a murderer, although I persecuted the church, although I did wrong things uh, in the name of a God I did not know. But one day, I, I was arrested and I was converted between the horse's brow and the ground. And Paul said, his grace brought me, his grace carried me, and his grace was sufficient for me. So if you want to know who I am, you got to ask my God, because God gave me this grace. His grace is sufficient for me, because by the grace of God, I am what I am. And God did not bestow this grace upon me in vain, Paul said. I labored more abundantly than they all. While Peter was trying to get himself together, Paul had already gone to the then known world carrying the gospel of Christ. And he said, in essence, this grace that God gave me was not wasted because I labored more abundantly than they are. In other words, I worked harder than all of them together. Wow! What a message for the church today. What a message for you today. You may have been this, you may have been that, you may have done wrong, but grace, by the grace of God, you are what you are. Let us pray. Father, I thank you for this grace. Bless the church in Jesus' name. Amen.